Everybody loves their fancy nano puff vests like Curtis. Looks like he's got a life preserver on everywhere. We're going to show you the nano puff betas. Fly fish food. Okay, this is a very, very simple betas pattern. You can tie it in midgy colors or pretty much any type of dry fly that you want. I'm tying this with with a normal CDC clump, even though I call it the Nano Puff, I'll show you how to make a CDC puff out of just a normal feather. Um, this is a very minimalistic fly, and I'm using um, 18 knot Nano Silk for this because there's really no bulk, and it allows me to really to horse down on this CDC at the end of the fly. But anyway, I'm going to just kind of build up a little bit of thread. This is a TMCO 2488. It's one of my favorite small hooks um, just because it's, it's really strong and it's got a nice shape to it. For the tail, I'm just going to put a shuck on it and this is like a brownish, olive-ish, tannish. I don't know what they call it. We'll put it in the recipe. But it's an Antron yarn and I'm just putting about 10 strands worth of it on this fly. All right, so as you can see, it's just a thread body, and I'm going to trim that tail roughly the same length of the body. You just want something that's a little sparkly there. Um, for the thorax, I'm going to use gray, and I have this um, SLF bug dub in gray. It's really great dubbing because I can take it and dub it down super, super tight. Okay, so I'm going to take that dubbing and I'm, I'm going to make a pretty concentrated little ball of dub right there. And that gives a platform for me to jam the CDC into to make it stand up a little better. Okay, so here I have a CDC feather. This is a Trout Hunter Medium Done, but any gray CDC feather that you have will work. And I'm going to come in here and remove some of the stem. So as you can see, I cut the stem off and I'm going to grab the whole feather and preen it so that I just have the tips of that feather. So I'm going to grab that and I'll tie those in to length. About right there. Blue winged olives have fairly long wings. Once I have that tied down nice and snug, I'll take the excess and I'll cut that off. Now, in order to make the wing a little bit fuller, I'll take that piece of CDC that I just used and I'm going to cut the stem out again so I have another V cut into it. I'm going to do the same thing and preen those fibers and lay that piece right on top of the one we already tied in. And we're going to crank down with this nano silk and now you can see we have a nice full puffy wing. If you're doing this with larger flies you're going to want to use maybe two feathers at the same time. So I'll just pull those straight up and trim those off. Alright, at this point I'm going to use just some more of that bug dub and build up just a tiny little head and whip finish it. Okay, just add a little bit of uh, super glue to the head, 
and uh, you know tie this in in a bunch of different varieties. You can use you know quill for the body. You can use dubbing for the body. You can use pretty much anything you want. But that little propped up wing in between two balls of dubbing is a, a super nice way to get a little floaty CDC fly.